Kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And off we go from Cleveland. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Hey, kill, 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 kill. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. To throw is Watson. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tap. What's going on with that one for sure? Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Short of them returning it for a pick six. That was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. That one, 28 yards on the ground. He covered a lot of ground, great blocking, and now they can sniff that end zone. They certainly can, and because of that run, maybe you come back and fake it to him on this play and throw a little play action. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley from four yards out. And the Giants use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point try, good by Gano. And it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From his end zone, it's Dimitri Felton. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. From the 24, Watson. He'll find Bryant. His tight end. It's complete. That one a first down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Chubb with a carry on first down. It's not going to yield much, maybe a yard. It's second down. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He's thrown one interception already, and that doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the game is going to go like that but it does seem that he's a little bit off in his approach to this one. Yeah, it does, and that was a risky throw right there. Got to be careful about taking care of the ball, making sure you get back within yourself. I mean, those mechanics that they work on all the time, they're there for a reason. Kind of get back to those and maybe tamp it down a little bit. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there, that brings up Ford. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives, and it looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. They will indeed snap it to Watson. 
And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Tackle by Jordan Elliott. Working with second and five now. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They had great starting position to begin the drive, and now they look up at a third and five. Back to throw. Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he will have a Giants first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Barkley inside handoff. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He dumps it off to Barkley. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's caught at the 1. A gain of nine there. Sets up second and goal. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Giants lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Gano the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They run it again with Chubb. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. And he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38 yard line, second and nine. They'll try the air now with Watson. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 21. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're not panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your pull. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Browns have got it back to within a score. 
Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Second and six, just inside the 30. Looking to throw. Jones, open man is Galladay, complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Up the middle with Barkley. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Jones on third and two. He'll dump this down to Matt Breida. And he's got some space here. Touchdown, Giants! Matt Breida, 55 yards. And the Giants have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Browns drive about to get started. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football from moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Back to the air, Watson on second down. And this one is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Watson now to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. On fourth down, Watson. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier McKinney. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. 
And that was one that I kind of saw coming, Charles. He had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting, and he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means a free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football as he did there. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing Jones, eluding the pressure right. That's caught by Galladay. Touchdown! Kenny Galladay on the touchdown throw from Daniel Jones. And the Giants will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point try good by Gano. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Second down, here's Chubb again. They find some open field here. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 110 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Watson. Puts together, Charles, a nice little return, too. Yeah, he's not going to make anybody forget Daryl Green or Rod Woodson, but look at him lug that thing. He decided it was his. A lot of people might have thought about lateraling it there. No shot. Trying to take it the distance. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Now Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Daniel Bellinger as the first half is winding down. And the Giants will extend their lead here just before halftime. Gano the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. He's going to run it here up the middle. It's a foot race. He's at the 50, 30, 10, and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get the 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. 
Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead and they are set to receive this kick. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. To throw again on second down, Jones. Out route pass complete to Bellinger. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Now Jones throwing on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty, and this Browns defense stands tall. The Cleveland offense ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, and now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt, 39 yards. And the Browns are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting at a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. A first down carry for Barkley won't lead to much as he'll take this forward for maybe a yard. It's second down. Now it's second and nine. They'll go to Barkley again. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Jones to throw on third down. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now. Down at the 33. It's Barkley on the counter. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Miles Garrett showing that athleticism as he gets in to make the play. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Back to throw. Jones. He's got Bellinger. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, 
Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Looking to throw. Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. you Brandon but I often think to myself in these situations I want a back who can create his own space who can break tackles and in a sense become his own blocker we don't have that guy in the game right now and this will result in him losing yardage back to the three they'll wind up losing a yard on the play and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal excuse my snarkiness here but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Gano's kick is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Browns drive about to get started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but... The self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Jones now. Throwing on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down, here's Parkley. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Here's Jones on third down. And that is incomplete. When you're capable of runner, oftentimes your quarterback coach, your offensive coordinator, they'd love to see you break the pocket and go ahead and take off. 
I think he could have gotten vertical and picked up something there. Instead, he pushed it downfield. Incomplete. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. The Cleveland offense ready to go. It really doesn't get much easier than the last drive. One play, and they took it all the way to the house on the touchdown run. And you know how many times we talk about that's exactly how they drew it up because essentially every play that's drawn up in an offensive playbook, if everyone does their job perfectly, should go for a touchdown, right? That's one that actually did. Give a little credit to those big fellows up front, too. They sprang their man for not only a big gain, but six points. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. And Chubble trying the middle here. And some space here. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Faking the give, now Watson. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. From the red zone now, Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Deshaun Watson finding Amari Cooper. And the Browns have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. New York now for the extra point. And the lead will shrink to six. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. The risk reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling. I mean, whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Even though we're not on the goal line, this is essentially a goal line look as they come up for second down. Jones. Jones and the Giants. On third down, Barkley. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot him. The Browns drive about to get started. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. 
Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Complete to Bryant, and that is what they needed. A first down and a big gain all the way to midfield as he's tackled right at the 50-yard line. Well, he's had the interception woes in this one, Charles, and that time a little bold to throw it into double coverage, but he beat the double coverage. Yeah, but I admire that he still will challenge defenders downfield yeah. even though the ball's been in jeopardy a few times in this game. A nice ball there against multiple defenders, and they advance it downfield. This for all the marbles. And that 